And now, before I introduce our 15 semi-finalists for this evening gown competition and the selection of our five finalists, I'd like to take just a moment to introduce three very special guests. Three former hold holders of the title Miss Universe. First, Miss Universe 1962, Norma Nolan Zanotti of Argentina. Miss Universe 1964, Corina Sope of Greece. Miss Universe 1965, Apasra Hansakula of Thailand. Thank you very much, girls, for being with us tonight. And now I would like to introduce the current title holder, Miss Universe 1966, Sweden's Margareta Arvidsson. Last year, when I was crowned Miss Universe, I remember I was crying, partly because I was tired, but mostly because I was so excited. Now, tonight, I think I might cry again. But before there are any tears, I would like to thank all those people who have been so wonderful to me this year. I have traveled all over the world, I have met hundreds and hundreds of people and it seems like every one of them have been so very kind to me. I'm very grateful to them for making this the best year of my life. Thank you all and goodbye. It comes a very important award, important because the girls themselves do the judging. Now, when our girls arrive here in Miami Beach, they're all complete strangers, and beyond that, they have a language barrier. But during the week, they learn enough words in each other's languages to become friends, and enough about each other to vote for one girl who has done the most to promote friendship and understanding among the delegates. And this year, the 1967 Amity Award goes to Miss Scotland, Lena McGarvey. There she is. Congratulations. Thank you very much. This is a wonderful award and it must make you terribly happy. It does, yes. You know that you've made 55 wonderful new friends and I'm sure all your friends in Scotland will be very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you were watching our Miss USA beauty pageant just eight weeks ago, you saw us do a talent production number featuring the beauty delegates themselves. Well, in rehearsals, we discovered that some of our Miss Universe beauties also sing and dance. Now, we had a lot of fun eight weeks ago. Our viewers seemed to like it, so we decided what this world needs is another musical extravaganza. So it's a great pleasure. It's not a pleasure. It's a great privilege for me to introduce our Universe Beauties.
Bob Barker is just about to present the 15 semi-finalists in their formal evening gowns. And after the presentation, the judges will make their final selections for the five finalists, combining their swimsuit voting and this evening gown vote. Well, now that we're getting down to five girls, here are some facts about past Miss Universes that might help you. There have been five blondes and ten brunettes. Six girls from European countries have held the title, and four from South America, two from Asia, and uh, three Miss USA's. Is that any help? <laughs> Judging in this competition is based on grace, poise, and manner of walking. Look the girls over closely. This is your last chance to pick your five favorites.